The film begins with a family settling into their new home. Derek, his wife Sharon, and their two-year-old son Kyle make up the family of three. While looking around the house, the couple becomes romantic and ends up making love in their new home. Sharon then gets busy with the movers, while Derek drives to his office. He notices a blonde girl in the elevator on his way to his office. Everyone else in the elevator exits, leaving only these two. While the other is not looking, the two examine each other. She appears to have a crush on Derek based on the way she looks at him. She's carrying a stack of files when she gets an idea, and all the files fall to the floor. When Derek quickly assists her in picking up the files, their hands come into contact, which makes Derek uncomfortable. The girl, on the other hand, smiles at him. Derek asks her who she is here to see as they exit the same floor. Derek Charles, says the girl. He jokes that Derek is a bad guy and warns her to be cautious. She leaves the documents with Derek's assistant. Derek works as an asset manager for a large corporation. Derek sees the girl on her desk again as he leaves the office at the end of the day and says hello. Lisa Sheridan is the name of the girl who introduces herself. When he leaves, she looks at his computer screen and realizes she's already looking at his profile. When Derek returns to the office the next day, he finds Lisa sitting at the desk of Derek's assistant Patrick. Derek is surprised to see her there, so he asks her where Patrick is. Lisa informs him that Patrick is suffering from stomach flu. Derek tells her about a slew of tasks he needs to complete. Most of the things Derek mentions are already taken care of by her. Lisa is a little creepy at first, but she proves to be a very helpful and valuable assistant. She is so creepy that she records Derek and his wife's phone calls. Derek has returned home and is cuddling with his wife. The two are conversing when Sharon inquires about a phone call she received. Derek did not show up. He informs her that he did not receive the message. He then informs her that his new assistant misinterpreted the message and gave him the incorrect name. Sharon is uneasy about him having a female assistant. She inquires about Patrick, and Derek informs her that he is ill, and Lisa is filling in for him. Sharon becomes enraged and orders her to fire the female assistant because the two had agreed that Derek would not have a female assistant. When Derek returns to his office the next day, he notices that Lisa is not present. The man breathes a sigh of relief until he notices her at Marge's desk, Joe's assistant. Patrick and Lisa, on the other hand, appear to be getting closer as the two already have a strong bond. Derek walks into the break room at work the next day and sees Lisa crying. He sits down and inquires as to what has brought her down. The girl tells him that she was recently dumped and has begun to doubt herself. She tells Derek, self-deprecatingly, that she believes something is wrong with her. Derek speaks to her and assures her that there is nothing wrong with her. He tells her that she is a smart and beautiful woman and that if he was single, he would, but he cuts himself off and the next thing she knows, he's patting her arm and telling her that everything will be fine. Ben walks in as Derek is about to leave and looks at the two of them, thinking something is going on between them. Then, at Christmas, there is a Christmas party at the office, but spouses are not permitted. Derek is overjoyed at the party, where he dances briefly with Marge before Lisa arrives and cuts him off. Derek and Lisa dance for a few minutes before Derek walks away to the men's room. Lisa follows him there and brushes his head with leaves from behind. She is all over him the moment he turns towards her. She attempts to seduce him. He begs her to stop, but she refuses. Derek finally leaves the room. Derek then abruptly exits the party. When he's in bed with his wife at night, she asks if anything interesting happened at the party. He claims nothing happened and then falls asleep. When he gets to his office the next day, he tells Ben about what happened the night before and asks him to keep it to himself. He tells Ben that he's going to HR to get rid of this girl, and Ben warns him that it could come back to bite him in the A, as it frequently does in cases like this. Derek, on the other hand, continues to visit HR. He approaches the HR manager, Hank, and informs him that he has come to speak with him about Lisa. Hank informs Derek that the girl has resigned from her job. Derek is very relieved to hear this. That evening, as he was about to leave the office, he was sitting in his car in the parking lot about to fasten his seat belt, when Lisa entered the car wearing a coat. As she gets into the car, she opens the coat to reveal that she is only wearing a sexy bra and panty outfit underneath. Lisa assures him that everything will be fine now because they no longer work together, so the risk of screwing up their jobs is gone even if they get involved. 
This is how fixated she has become on Derek. She simply quit her job to be with him without having to deal with the workplace issues. Derek becomes enraged and orders her to exit his vehicle. If she had only obeyed him in this manner, he would have pushed her out of the car and driven away while she stood in the parking lot. Derek makes the decision to tell Sharon everything right away. He sees his wife when he gets home and suspects something is wrong because she is sitting with a glass of wine in her hand and is visibly sad. He asks what's wrong, and she tells him that she just spent an hour and a half talking with her sister, who is distraught because her husband is having an affair and is planning to leave her. He eventually decides not to tell her about Lisa after hearing this. Then there's New Year's. Derek and Sharon return home after the New Year's Eve party, and Derek receives an email. Derek ignores the screen on his computer. When Sharon goes to the bathroom, he opens the email, which contains an inappropriate picture of Lisa. He emails Lisa the next day while at work, asking her to simply leave him alone. She, on the other hand, responds with an emoji that winks at Derek. A few days later, while Sharon is assisting Derek in packing for a work retreat, she tells him to be quiet while he is gone. The waitress at the retreat brings Derek a drink and informs him that it is from the woman behind the bar. Derek turns around to see Lisa approaching him. This act of Lisa does not sit well with Derek, who tells her to get out of there and that nothing will ever happen between them. Derek then gets a phone call, and as he turns to answer it, Lisa mixes something in his drink. Ben and Derek are walking down the hall later that night. Derek is inebriated and his vision is blurry. Ben enters Derek's room and reminds him that they have a meeting at 9 a.m. Derek jumps into bed as soon as he walks into the room. Lisa is hovering over him as he turns over. She gets into bed with him because he is too drunk and drugged to fight her off, and she begins to have her way with him, kissing and massaging him until he passes out. When he wakes up the next morning, he is still hungover. He checks the time and realizes he is already late. He quickly gets up and arrives at the meeting at 10.15 a.m. The meeting continues, and around two hours later, Derek is informed that his wife is waiting for him in the lobby. Derek excuses himself and exits. It's Lisa. Derek becomes enraged this time. Lisa begins rambling, telling him that he desires her. She tells him about how he said they could have been together if he was single. Derek makes it abundantly clear to her that there will never be anything between them and requests that she leave him alone. He returns to the meeting after that. Derek returns to his room that night to find Lisa in his bed. Derek then discovers an empty pill bottle and notices the girl is unconscious. He immediately dials 911, and the next thing we see is that they are in a hospital, and Lisa is being taken to the emergency room, while Derek tells Ben that he will explain everything later. Sharon calls Ben that night, concerned because she hasn't been able to contact Derek. Ben requests that she contact the hospital. Sharon becomes concerned and rushes to the hospital, where she is relieved to see Derek is fine. The doctor then approaches Derek and asks him why Lisa overdosed in his bed, which is when Sharon loses it. Lisa even gave Derek her emergency contact information. Sharon accuses Derek of sleeping with Lisa as they drive back home, which Derek denies. He then tells Sharon about Lisa's activities and how she has been obsessed with him for a long time. Sharon becomes even more enraged, questioning why she was not informed when everything occurred. She informs him that they made a vow to always tell each other everything. Derek tries to apologize, but she throws him out. A detective enters Lisa's hospital room and interrogates her about her relationship with Derek. She informs her that Derek is divorcing Sharon and that they will be together. Lisa inquires as to whether Derek is present to see her, but the detective informs her that Derek does not wish to see her. Lisa then inquires of the detective as to why Derek sent her flowers. The detective then questions Derek about the flowers, and he tells her that Lisa must have used his credit card information to send herself flowers to show Derek cares about her. The detective tells Derek about a journal Lisa kept in which she wrote about everything romantic between Derek and Lisa. Derek claims that all of this is a lie because nothing romantic ever happened between them. He then informs the detective that Lisa is obsessed with him and has gone insane. He is concerned about what she will do next. The detective informs him that he does not need to be concerned because Lisa has relocated to San Francisco. Derek is then seen in his apartment with his son while Sharon is alone in a room. They have been living apart for several months. A crazy girl's obsession has shattered the family. 
Derek's birthday arrives, and he asks Sharon if she can join him in celebrating. Sharon agrees and goes out to get something for Derek, thinking she'll give it to him depending on how the evening goes. They decide to reconcile over dinner, and Sharon gives him the house key as a birthday present. Meanwhile, Lisa comes to their house and kidnaps Kyle, telling the babysitter that she is Sharon's friend. When they arrive home, the babysitter informs them that their friend has dropped by. They both go upstairs and discover Kyle is not present. Derek goes outside and discovers Kyle in his car with a large lipstick kiss on his brow. The doctor at the hospital tells them that the baby is fine. The detective inquires if they require police protection, and Derek inquires if they should purchase a gun. He eventually installs his security system. Lisa calls Patrick the next day to inform him that Derek is divorcing Sharon. Patrick dismisses her and informs her that the couple is going to see Sharon's parents. Kyle is with Sharon's sister, he tells her. Shannon prepares to leave for the weekend at home. She gets in her car and calls Derek to let him know she's leaving. She then recalls that she did not activate the security system. Lisa breaks into their house, goes to their bedroom, and takes off her clothes while opening a bottle of champagne. Sharon goes upstairs after hearing the bottle open and finds Lisa in their bed. The two girls have a physical altercation, and Sharon receives a call from Derek, telling him that Lisa is at their house and that she will have to call him back. The two girls then start fighting. The fight escalates as they kick, slap, and tumble downstairs. Sharon eventually finds herself in the attic. Lisa is invited to come and get her. Lisa advances to attack her, but trips over a weak section of flooring and falls through it. Sharon feels guilty and tries to help the crazy girl up, but the crazy girl pulls Sharon down with her. Sharon then lets go of her, causing her to fall through a table. She is not yet dead. She tries to get up with her eyes wide open when the chandelier on the roof falls directly on Lisa, killing her instantly. Sharon then walks out, only to be confronted by the detective, who asks her what happened. Sharon says, you know what happened, before falling into Derek's arms. The girl's obsession ultimately leads to her disgraceful death. This is the end of the film.